another day of A Year in Miracles. And it just so happens to be St. Patrick's Day today. So happy St. Patrick's Day to all of you who are celebrating. I wore my green today. Uh, but I just wanted to jump right in to our next A Course in Miracles workbook lesson, number 76, because this is a long one. All right, here we go. I am under no laws but God's. We have observed observed before how many senseless things have seemed to be your salvation. Each has imprisoned you with laws as senseless as itself. You are not bound by them. Yet to understand that this is so, you must first realize salvation lies not there. While you would seek for it in things that have no meaning, you bind yourself to laws that make no sense. Thus do you seek to prove salvation where it is not. Today, we will be glad you cannot prove it. For if you could, you would forever seek salvation where it is not and never find it. The idea for today tells you once again how simple is salvation. Look for it where it waits for you, and there it will be found. Look nowhere else, for it is nowhere else. Think of the freedom in the recognition that you are not bound by all of the strange and twisted laws that you have set up to save you. You really think that you would starve unless you have stacks of green paper strips and piles of metal discs. You really think a small round pellet or some fluid pushed into your veins through a sharpened needle will ward off disease and death. You really think you are alone unless another body is with you. It is insanity that thinks these things. You call them laws and put them under different names in a long catalog of rituals that have no use and serve no purpose. You think you must obey the laws of medicine, of economics, and of health. Protect the body and you will be saved. These are not laws, but madness. The body is endangered by the mind that hurts itself. The body suffers just in order that the mind will fail to see it is the victim of itself. The body's suffering is a mask the mind holds up to hide what really suffers. It would not understand it is its own enemy, that it attacks itself and wants to die. It is from this your laws would save the body. It is for this you think you are a body. There are no laws except the laws of God. This needs repeating over and over until you realize it applies to everything that you have made in opposition to God's will. Your magic has no meaning. What it is meant to save does not exist. Only what it is meant to hide will save you. The laws of God can never be replaced. We will devote today to rejoicing that this is so. It is no longer a truth that we would hide. We realize instead it is a truth that keeps us free forever. Magic imprisons, but the laws of God make free. The light has come because there are no laws but his. We will begin the longer practice periods today with a short review of the different kinds of laws we have believed we must obey. These would include, for example, the laws of nutrition, of immunization, of medication, and of the body's protection in innumerable ways. Think further, you believe in the laws of friendship, of good relationships and reciprocity, sorry about that. Perhaps you even think that there are laws which set forth what is God's and what is yours. Many religions have been based on this. They would not save but damn in heaven's name. Yet they are no more strange than other laws you hold must be obeyed to make you safe. There are no laws but God's. Dismiss all foolish magical beliefs today and hold in your mind in silent readiness to hear the voice that speaks the truth to you. You will be listening to one who says there is no loss under the laws of God. Payment is neither given nor received. Exchange cannot be made. There are no substitutions and nothing is replaced by something else. God's laws forever give and never take. Hear him who tells you this and realize how foolish are the laws you thought upheld the world you thought you saw. Then listen further. He will tell you more. 
about the love your Father has for you, about the endless joy he offers you, about his yearning for his only Son, created as his channel for creation, denied to him by his belief in hell. Let us today open God's channels to him and let his will extend through us to him. Thus his creation endlessly increased. His voice will speak of this to us, as well as of the joys of heaven, which his laws keep limitless forever. He, we will repeat today's idea until we have listened and understood there are no laws but God's. Then we will tell ourselves as a dedication with which the practice period concludes, I am under no laws but God's. We will repeat this dedication as often as possible today, at least four or five times an hour, as well as in response to any temptation to experience ourself as subject to other laws throughout the day. It is our statement of freedom from all danger and all tyranny. It is our acknowledgement that God is our Father and that His Son is saved. And that's it. That is our pretty long lesson for today. A Course in Miracles workbook lesson 76. I am under no laws but God's. Uh, good morning, everyone. Great to see you here this morning. And uh, as I said earlier, happy St. Patrick's Day. Hope you're all enjoying this. We're having a bit of rain here this morning. So uh, that's a good reminder of St. Patrick's Day, right, with all of the rain in Ireland. Good morning, Francine. Nice to see you here this morning. Hey, sweetheart. Good to see you. Good morning, Bob. Nice to see you here on the live feed. Hi, Cindy. Good to see you here. Good morning, Carl. Nice to see you here this morning. Hey, Kim. Nice to see you. Hey, Jody. Good to see you here this morning. Good morning, Don. Good to see you. Hey, Chris. Yes, happy St. Patrick's Day. Hey, Tony. Nice to see you. Uh, yes, top of the morning to you too, Cindy. Great to see you. Good morning, Doug. Nice to see you on this St. Patrick's Day morning. Hey, Renee. Nice to see you on the live feed this morning. Get to see some friends that I've known for years and years. Hi, Will. Nice to see you. Good morning, Pam. Great to see you here this morning. Yes. Hi, Paula. Good to see you here this morning. Good morning, Lori. Hey, Kimberly. Good to see you. Yeah, great to see all of you here this morning. So this is an interesting lesson uh, on A Course in Miracles because it touches on a lot of things that probably um, may be a little unsettling for us because maybe we haven't really thought about uh, some of the things that we have looked to for our, our salvation. And um, it can be a little bit hard to, to grasp and understand and acknowledge, uh, but trust me, if you continue with the lessons in A Course in Miracles, you will see how it all is actually true. Uh, I remember when I first started doing these lessons and some of these lessons would come up and I'd be like, hmm, not sure if this is really right. And uh, I would put the book down and I'd walk away from it for a while and then something else would come up in my life, some turmoil, and I'd go back to the course and I'd start reading it again and, and it would just speak the truth to me. And I thought, you know, I'm going, I'm going to give this book a shot. I'm going to see... Um, if this really is true and it always resonated with the truth in me as strange and opposed to what I believed or was taught to believe uh, my early conditioning uh, A Course in Miracles is really an undoing it's an unlearning of the things that we have learned so that we can have a clean slate for the truth to be written on it so we can understand the truth about what we are the truth about our power and the innate power that we have to heal ourselves, to be loved, to, um, to accept that we are not this body. And when we can understand that we are not our body, oh my gosh, the world opens up in ways that you can't even imagine. Um, we think that we're letting go every time A Course of Miracles says, um, you know, this is not going to save you and this is not going to help you. And, you know, the fear ego of us goes, what do you mean? You know, this is my belief, and I believe this will save me, and I believe this will help me. And it's in letting go of that and allowing the power and the greatness, which is so much bigger than what we've put our belief in. Um, it's, it's really, it's amazing when you allow your little willingness to just do the lessons. And remember back in the beginning when we first read the introduction to the lessons, um, there was a statement that said, 
you may not agree with all of these lessons, um, you may not believe them, and some of them you may adamantly disagree with, but the, it says, do them anyway, because they will still work. Just in doing the lessons, your little willing, willingness to do the lessons um, will open this door for you and will allow that greatness to you know, just come through and you will eventually, you will begin to see and feel and understand just how powerful you are. So, um, so if you're having a little bit of discourse with some of these lessons, um, I would say stick with them because there's so much power there and, um, and feel free to join us in our private Facebook group because this is where we talk about some of the things that are coming up for us. And some of us have been doing the course for a long, long time. Some of us are just starting out and it's nice to share back and forth what's coming up, what's happening, some of our experiences maybe. It's easier to explain some of these core principles when we can put them into um, experiential things that have happened in, um, in our lives and other people's lives. So again, feel free to join us over there. And I also post all of the lessons over there so you can reread them throughout the day. So I hope to join you over there. Good morning, Peggy, nice to see you. Yes, Paula, we are not our body. Um, hard concept to grasp when that's what we've been taught our whole life, but uh, so powerful when we finally realize the truth of who and what we are because we are so much more. So that's it. Have a wonderful day. Enjoy your day, everyone. Thank you again for joining me here this morning, and I will see you tomorrow morning with another wonderful lesson in A Course in Miracles. All right, have a great day. Bye, guys.